summary and critical analysis of Aunt Jennifer's Tigers by Adrian Rich. The speaker describes the tigers which her aunt produced by using colored threads on heavy cloth. They are set in motion. They are moving quickly by raising the front legs and jumping forwards on the back legs. In the green jungle they look bright yellow and as valuable as topazes which reveals her dream of a happier life in her needlework. There are men sitting under the tree, but the tigers do not care for them. They move on to their goal boldly and smoothly. Jennifer finds it difficult to make pictures by using the ivory needle. She is tired of doing the household work after she got married. She can't get herself involved in her artistic work. She has to do it in her leisure time. Even then she has to be sure whether her husband is watching her or not. So, her hands are terrified. She will not be free from fear until she dies. She will be dominated by her husband. She will die, but her art will express her desire to move proudly and fearlessly like the tigers she has made. Aunt Jennifer's hands are terrified because of the massive weight of household duties. They are heavily pressed. They have undergone severe trials. She is dominated by her husband continuously. Fingers fluttering, ordeals, mastered, hard to pull, indicate her fear. By mentioning that it is uncle's wedding band, the poet suggests that uncle owns Jennifer too and that as a female she is the property of her husband. The words massive and heavily suggest Aunt Jennifer lives a demanding sort of life in which she has to attend to her husband's needs and fulfill his commands. As a result, she is somewhat worn out in her old age. Aunt Jennifer is ringed, trapped in her marriage and controlled like an animal. Her husband is her master. Her wish to be like the tiger, proud and unafraid, also shows her fear in real life. Tigers are fierce, courageous and independent animals. They lead the life the way they want to. But Aunt Jennifer is just opposite to tigers. She is quiet, coward, and totally dependent on her husband. She leads her life the way her husband likes for her. So, tigers are an appropriate contrast to her. Aunt Jennifer has an artistic talent. If she used it properly, she will surely become a great artist. But she has misused her ability because of cowardice. She can't go against the established pattern in life. She is pressed by the massive weight of household work. Instead of pleasing herself, she tries to please her dominating husband. She lives a quiet and subdued life. But the tigers she imagined are just opposite to her. They are proud, active, fearless, determined and chivalric. They move toward their goals with single-mindedness. The tigers in the poem represent Jennifer's innermost desire. She wants to be strong like the tigers that do not fear the men. Like the beautiful animals in the jungle, she wants to create precious pieces of art. Her life has been uncertain, helpless. Her husband is strong and fearless, but he is not chivalrous. So, she finds courage, justice and honor in the smooth movement of the tigers. The tigers stand for her unfulfilled wishes. She can't revolt against him on her own. In order to gain freedom, she must be like her tigers that prance being proud and unafraid. Like them she wish if she did not fear the men. The word chivalric suggests her in a wish that is, her husband should show bravery, honor, generosity, and good manners to her like the knights in the Middle Ages did. She would like to go forward toward her aim like the determined tigers, setting off Aunt Jennifer's tigers. The speaker talks to the readers in an anxious state. The speaker tells us the story of her aunt who has been sewing the tigers on the screen and has been in a burdened marriage, where the aunt is not open and comfortable enough to withstand the apparent harsh uncle. The poem has been shown as an irony between aunt's personal life and her choice of object for embroidery. The tigers in her hands are a symbol of courage, boldness and independence whereas she is a fearful, weak woman and her life with her husband is disturbed to the levels that even the wedding ring seems await. Her vivid imagination showing all the chains holding her back has been beautifully expressed. Poetic devices and Aunt Jennifer's tigers. Alliteration, fingers fluttering, prancing proud, chivalric certainty, weight of wedding band. Visual imagery, bright topaz denizens, world of greens. The wedding band is a symbol of marriage. Its weight refers to the burden of unsuccessful marriage and gender. Expectations. Ringed means encircled or trapped, which has no opening, i.e. no way to get out of it. The aunt is a typical victim of male oppression in an unhappy marriage. She suffers loss of individuality, dignity and personal freedom silently. She becomes dependent, fearful and frail. Tigers are a symbol of untamed free courageous spirit. They show a contrast to their creator's personality. The use of colors implies that Aunt Jennifer's tigers and their land are more vital and enjoy a sense of freedom far greater than her. They pace and prance freely and they're not afraid of men. 
The colors in their description are, yellow, bright topaz depicts the sun and its energy, green reminds one of, spring and vitality, embroidery is a symbol of her creative passion and vivid imagination, the artwork expresses the aunt's suppressed desires, she finds a door for an escape from the oppressive reality of her, married life, metaphor exemplified as ringed with ordeals, even death would not free her as the wedding band, a symbol of dominance would be on her finger and she will die with her shoulders bowed down, terrified fingers, transferred epithet style, the rhyme scheme of the poem is rhymed couplets, Aunt Jennifer's Tigers is written in three stanzas of four lines each, each stanza is made up of two couplets with rhymes, summary of Aunt Jennifer's Tigers, the poem titled Aunt Jennifer's Tigers, written by Adrian Rich, is about an old lady who is embroidering a scenery of tigers. The tigers in the poem symbolize strength, vividness, and courage. On the contrary, the aunt is shown weighed down and oppressed by her marriage, so much so that even the wedding band on her ring finger feels like a trap. The tigers are the aunt's image of life. She silently wishes to be free and independent, and that is what her work reflects. The aunt will die trapped in an unhappy relation while her tigers will still prance on the walls of her heart. Theme of Aunt Jennifer's Tigers The poem is basically themed to show how the females are oppressed by their husbands and how they deal with that the whole of their lives without heaving a sigh of relief. The only place where they can open the windows of freedom is through their hobbies which in this poem is shown as embroidering. The aunt chooses tigers as her object as they easily represent her feelings in the kind of life she wishes to live in. It is also shown that the problem in her marriage remains unsolved and that the condition will stay the same till her death. The central idea in Aunt Jennifer's Tigers, Rich's poems were usually based on a political and gender-based issues which showed the picture of how the world deals with females and how they wish to be dealt with. Aunt Jennifer struggled for freedom and equality in her marriage but could never win. She still remained true and loyal to the bond as even after such burdens she wore the ring in her hands, while she made the tigers fearlessly prance on the screen which will still remain strong even after her death. She could not gather the same courage to make her life better. The idea of the poem is to let the readers know the kind of stress a woman has to go through in her lives and how she has to fight for her rights all the time. It also tells women to be strong in this male-dominated world like the tigers, and not a victim. The poem concludes by the lines, when aunt is dead, her terrified hands will lie. Still ringed with ordeals she was mastered by. The tigers in the panel that she made will go on prancing, proud and unafraid, which means that the speaker wants to convey that the burden of the marriage will always be on the shoulders of Aunt Jennifer and even after her death, she will be wearing the wedding ring which symbolizes the trap. Whereas, the tigers will always remain immortal and be bold, and live with full freedom in the natural green homes on the screen. The poem portrays a central character. Aunt Jennifer, as a meek, passive woman, suffocated by her marriage and the criterion she must meet to please society, she experiences dissonance between the part of her that is used to being told how she can live and the part of her that wants to be free of these societal restraints. The poem is narrated by a relative of Aunt Jennifer who recognizes her internal conflict and takes a pitying tone in her portrayal. Aunt Jennifer's longing for escape is portrayed by her marvelous tapestry, depicting topaz tigers, a symbol of the strength and freedom which she can only dream of possessing. Visual imagery is used to describe the confident tigers in their colorful world, which is then contrasted with Jennifer's reality, which is shown through kinesthetic imagery describing her manual work and the weight of her marriage on her spirit. The tone shifts from spellbound in the first stanza to a dreary, embittered one in the second. Diction contributes to the differing natures of the stanzas as well. Light-hearted words, such as pranced and bright that are used in the first stanza provide a stark contrast to the words heavy and hard which are found in the second stanza. In the final stanza, Aunt Jennifer is contrasted again with her tigers, this time posthumously. Even after her death, Aunt Jennifer is depicted as a scared little woman. The author uses words like terrified and mastered to depict her submissive nature. This is directly contrasted with her panel, which will go on as a symbol of independence and fortitude. Aunt Jennifer S. Tigers is about the suppressive nature of marriage and society's expectations of women, especially married ones, and reveals that the stifling environment they create proves detrimental and sometimes traumatizing. Aunt Jennifer uses her art to escape from the societal contracts she is bound to. She creates these beautiful, strong tigers who are free kings and queens of the forest. They make their own decisions. The tigers do not fear men in the way that she does and do not cower in the face of pressure, their world is wild and free where hers is controlled. 
This poem refers to an early time. It is not common nowadays to create screens made of wool and to use an ivory needle to do so. This leads me to think that her marriage with the uncle was arranged as she was forced into it for familial or societal reasons. Her wedding ring weighs her down until death because it represents her lack of freedom. The phrase, terrified hands, makes me think that her marriage was abusive or she was incredibly timid or fragile. Even in death, it seems she has not found freedom, but the tigers will keep representing the strength she wished she had. Adrian Rich's Aunt Jennifer's Tigers depicts a woman trapped within the cultural constraints and responsibilities of married life. In the first stanza, Aunt Jennifer's situation and character is contrasted with her artistic creation that portrays her aspiration. The tapestry on which she has knitted tigers are very symbolic of what she wants to be in life, fearless, or assertive, noble and powerful like the tiger as expressed in the words, they pace, in sleek chivalric certainty. The tigers depicted as prancing across the screen bring to mind a being that is confident, self-assured and happy, all things that Aunt Jennifer is not. The use of colors implies that Aunt Jennifer's tigers and their land are more vital and enjoy a sense of freedom far greater than her. Yellow, bright topaz, connotes the sun and fierce energy, while green reminds one of spring and rebirth. In the second stanza, Aunt Jennifer's present state is depicted. Her fingers are fluttering through her wool, showing both physical and mental weakness. She finds it difficult to pull the needle. The massive weight of uncle's wedding band sits heavily upon Aunt Jennifer's hand, reminds us that her marriage responsibilities weigh her down which makes her unable to realize her full potential as a woman in a male-dominated society. She escapes from her difficult situation through art, that is, through knitting. The final stanza contains imagery that reflects back on the first two stanzas. The reference of the hand symbolizes Aunt Jennifer as a whole, though her death would free her from her present miserable state. Her hands will remain terrified with the wedding ring which binds her to her ordeals that took complete control of her. The only sign of her freedom from her present life is the artwork which she escapes into by depicting the prancing, proud and unafraid tigers which is what she really wants to be and which she attains through her imagination.